We have a lot of returning veteran guys. We have a team that we really, really like in terms of our skill set and uh, the people we have. We have out got outstanding guys. Uh, so we're excited to go. We have a tough early season schedule of starting off at Azusa Pacific, uh, you know, and uh, so we're, we're just looking forward to getting in a little warmer weather and, and kicking things off. Yeah, you talk about Azusa Pacific. Uh, just got done or still playing a series with Northwest Nazarene right now. Really highly contested series. What do you know about Azusa Pacific so far? Well, not a ton yet. I, we're still learning and doing some scouting, but they're going to be well coached and they got good kids. You know, they were a regional team last year and they have a fair amount of returners. They got they picked up a couple of good kids out of the transfer portal. I think the note their number one that we'll see right out of the gates, a lefty, uh, 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 is a Division One transfer from California, and uh, I think he's pretty good. So you know, we'll just. Uh, First of all, out of the gates, worry about what we need to do and probably a little less about them. You guys, both, both Spencer and Caleb, last year, it feels like you've been in the program forever now. Started as freshmen, still playing, still starting today. Um, what are you most excited about heading into this season? I think just the opportunity to kind of put last season behind us. We had a good start, but kind of, you know, everything like fizzed out at the end. So just the ability to go out there and compete and have one last run with the guys we've been here for five years with. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's kind of our last rodeo, so kind of leaving our mark on the program before we head out of here. Kind of, it's kind of what we're looking forward to. Questions? You've got basically, I mean, you look infield's back, catch back, outfield's pretty much back. Do you kind of guard against complacency and balance that with the comfortability of having so many guys back, knowing that the pitching staff's going to be a lot different? Yeah, it's uh, it's a concern. You know, uh, uh, we are very experienced. We have a lot of guys that have played in a lot of big games and postseason play. Uh, and, you know, we talked about it yesterday. I'm, we're challenging those guys to go out and prove something. You know, they need to play like with the mentality of when they were sophomores, only now they're more experienced, they're older, they're more mature, but they need to play with – some of that youthful carefreeness where they're not worrying about living up to anything. They need to go prove stuff and earn it. So you guys kind of the same thing is you know, you've, you've seen everything pretty much in your, in your career. So how do you get that, the youthful exuberance back as 17th year seniors now? <laughs> I think just Kind of saying like we've seen a lot, but the one thing we haven't seen is the national championship. And I mean, we got to go out there and win every day to get there. So I feel like just having that on our minds or out in front of us is just enough for me to be excited to play every day. Yeah, and I know for a lot of us too, uh, I mean, just using last year's fuel because us being ranked so high and us having uh, expectations to go farther than we did and us not, or us coming up short from that, I mean, having that fuel our fire. It seems like you guys almost got a lot of new pitchers, like Patty said. Spencer, what it kind of been like for you in the fall and going into the season to just work with not the pitchers that you guys had last year, but the, the new pitchers as well? Um, it's exciting. I mean, it's fun to catch new guys, see a different look on the mound. Our rotation and our bullpen look a lot different than it has in years past. So, I mean, it's been fun to learn, fun to see what these guys can do, and we're just kind of excited to get started. And then with that, kind of a veteran bullpen as well with Austin and Frankie in there and Anthony. What kind of have they led the pitching staff, just the starters too, in practices and things like that? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I think they're all preparing hard. We, we have some new faces. Uh, we have some guys that are, that are going to come on the scene and, and people are going to really like. And then some other guys, uh, I mean, in all, I mean, there's a lot of things open. We're going to, they're going to have to battle for positions as starters and relief roles and I think that early on here in the first four weeks uh, we're going to see a lot of pitchers out there we're going to use a lot of people and I mean you just mentioned the fact that there's going to be a lot of pitchers coming in has anybody started to stick out as kind of that ace since losing Andrew last year or this year uh, you know there's there's a few options in there but uh, you know I think it remains to be seen uh, Andrew became a huge distraction to us at the end of the year 
uh, quite frankly. And I think we can move forward in a positive way because we have some guys that are uh, very team oriented and uh, are working hard and uh, in their own right can stake a claim to being an ace. Uh, I'd say we have five or six guys that could do that. Well, we've got great depth, and you know, as we talk about from a team concept, uh, uh, you know, guys are going to have to be willing to maybe play a secondary position uh, at times. We're going to move guys around. We're going to do some unconventional things uh, that maybe you haven't seen us do in past years. Uh, <clears throat> because as you move forward in these things, uh, you have to adapt. You have to find new ways of uh, doing things, more efficient ways. And we got to be better uh, because of our depth at, at using the, the entire depth of our personnel. So McGarry's playing short? Come That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but you might see him in the outfield. I was say, trying to get, I mean, he's National Player of the Year. He's a great DH. You've got depth at first and behind the plate and all. How do you try to get him? some position play in without hurting this team. And I mean, I'm also looking for his future that scouts want to see him play positions and not just swing a bat. I don't think uh, playing him in a position or sitting somebody else down is going to hurt our team. And, and that's back to my point about some unconventional aspects. I think it could actually strengthen us. Uh, you know, it, it affords us uh, an ability to get more bats in the lineup when those are needed. Uh, it, it affords us the opportunity to get our best defense in and make changes at any point in time based on what we need. Do we need a speed guy, a power guy? Do we need a defender or a hitter? Uh, and these guys, this group of guys, this team uh, is going to buy in, is going to need to buy into that because I believe that's how we're going to play it. And with such an experienced lineup, getting all the seniors that fifth years to buy in is going to be a little bit easier because they've been in here and done it. How do you get everybody as a unit, all the young guys to buy in? Well, I think that's, uh, you know, it starts with the coaching staff, but it really falls on the shoulders of the guys next to me. Team leaders, those guys that have been around and are experienced, it's their job to pull them into the fold, uh, you know, and we have simple rules like or, or ideas if, if Spencer or Caleb are going to go to hit. We we ask them to pull someone with them. You, just, you don't just go hit alone. You you bring someone with you, and, and if it can be a young guy, and you can influence them, and learn them the right way to work and the way we work, uh, it strengthens the club. It sounds like for both of you guys, the pain of the way the last year ended is still a little bit fresh. Can you talk about what you you know how you can use that to kind of drive you guys forward this year? Um, I would just say that you know I mean. Everyone's still pissed off about it ended. I mean, we were both on a team a couple of years ago that we lost the national championship game, and that still feels fresh. So just having that chip on your shoulder, going to practice every day, wanting to work hard, wanting to get better, I mean, that's going to fuel us throughout the year, and it's going to help our team get better. Uh, I mean, also just kind of learning from last year. I mean, we didn't really play up to our expectation, even though we were ranked number one. Uh, I mean, this year we're kind of just focused on one game at a time rather than looking towards our MAC tournament, regional, super regional, and then World Series, kind of just staying on our feet. Do you have an idea of some of the guys who might work into the rotation pitching-wise? Because I know it's going to change, like you said. You can piggyback, you can you want to see a lot of guys, but who are some of the guys that, that you're looking at to start? Well, we're looking at obviously Ryan Day and Cannon Handy. They return as starters. Uh, Frankie will probably get an opportunity. Josh Danilu will probably get an opportunity. Uh, we have a new player, Joey Mazzetti, who's looked really good. Isaac Hayen uh, probably had he had the best fall of any of our, our pitchers. He was out last year uh, recovering from arm surgery, uh, and so those are the name a few. But I'm sure I'm missing some guys in there. Uh, I mean, truly. Uh, we're going to see guys in different roles, and some of the starters will probably work out of the pen real early. Uh, we're going to find out what we have, and we're going to build a pitching staff. And uh, and so those guys will have to, uh, they'll have opportunities to stake claim to some jobs. I see right that nobody throws with, with this hand on the staff? On the, all, you have an all right handed staff? 
Day and Handy or Lefties. Handy, that's right. And Lorenz. And I looked at the wrong yeah. one. I looked at the wrong one. I must have looked at Giddy. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Anything else? All right. Question of the day. Favorite Winter Olympic sport? With the Winter Olympics going on right now, what's your favorite Winter Olympic sport? Good. I would just snowboard half pipe. Spencer thinks he's a big time snowboarder, that's why. But that's a whole nother conversation. Uh, <laughs> Caleb, he's, I heard he's pretty good, but I haven't seen it. Uh, I have no idea, we'll just go with bobsledding. <laughs> Ice hockey. Yeah, yeah that was mine actually. It's a, it's a, and a close second would be uh, figure skating. Why do you like those two? I think the figure skating is just so beautiful. And the ice hockey's mean. <laughs>